A Henderson small business owner is encouraging people to stay away from her old business social media pages after she says a hacker took them over. She says someone hijacked not one, but all five of them impacting her clientele. Eyewitness News Ann Powell has the story. I feel like I'm kind of hostage to Facebook. Pam Fister Clark says the trouble started around August 14th after clicking on a link. Shortly after, she says someone locked her out of her personal Facebook page. A picture of me and my mother popped up where my logo should have been, and that let me know that something was wrong. Fister Clark owns several businesses, including Gallery Gifts and Bridal in Henderson. She says the hacker took control of all of her business pages on Facebook. The feed is now filled with posts about cryptocurrency, something Fister or Clark says she knows nothing about. The thing that really threw me off is all of the information on my profile page was correct, but at the very top, working at Bitcoin had been added. It looks so real. On the Facebook page, there's a certificate showing that I had accomplished these classes with achievement and they spell my name correctly. Nobody spells my name correctly. Experts say scammers are becoming more professional with their craft. They will contact you through a variety of methods. That is phone calls, text messages, chats, direct messages through social media. As soon as I reported a problem with my Facebook page, people came out of the woodwork texting me from all over the country saying this is who you should contact to get your Facebook page back and of course there was a a cost associated with that. Clark says she went from 2,700 followers to nothing. She says the hacker began taking advantage of her clients. They are using my friends and my contacts to further uh, perpetrate their fraud very afraid that someone is going to get hurt as a result of contacting someone through my old Facebook page. Fisterer Clark says there is nothing she can do. She says a friend helped her fill out paperwork to send to Meta, but says the company never responded. Fisterer Clark also says she tried to call them several times and received an unmitted voice telling her to leave a message. When we called Facebook, we did not get the option to leave a message. Please note that we are unable to provide telephone support at this time. Now, Fissera Clark is starting from scratch. So far, she has been able to regain a little over 500 followers. I networked with all of my customers, being in the wedding business, uh, particularly tuxedos, that's what I do, and renting to my prom guys. And it's all word of mouth, it's all networking, and I've done that through Facebook, and that's how I've shown my art students artwork. Both experts and Fisker Clark say there are ways to avoid dealing with this nightmare and falling victim. So I would say approach with danger, <laughs> be very suspicious, change your passwords, check often to see what's on your page. Make sure that you only friend people that you know and that you only follow people that you know. In Henderson County, Ann Powell, Eyewitness News.